Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching episode five of season four of The Expanse. <sighs> the last episode. Um, look, I, I'm not saying because someone's good looking that like you should like follow everything that they're saying, but it didn't help that Marco looks the way he does while speaking the way he does. I can totally see how he pulled one over on Naomi. Uh, he's definitely got a way with words and it makes you feel like the things he's saying is a hundred percent true, even though it's really not. There's manipulations in there and there's ways that he's trying to pull at heartstrings and I totally get it. And like, I was listening to him going like, everything he's saying is a hundred percent facts. Mm, yeah, mm. Facts is a strong word when it comes to Marco. Um, I, I'm reminded of what Miller said about Dresden. It's like he killed him because he was making sense. He's making too much sense. And if he can sway somebody like Naomi, who is very intelligent, very headstrong, imagine what he could do to, let's say, millions of Diogos. <laughs> like the belt would just implode. And, and, and maybe that's what they need to break free of UN control. Um, I, I feel like I feel like he's got a lot of points when it comes to what he's saying about like now the the belters are guarding the ring and they're they're stopping pirates. So belters are stopping belters and there there's a blockade. So they're stopping belters from going and settling in new worlds. And and it's making there be like a civil war, which is exactly what Drummer wants to prevent. But it's making belters fight other belters. And it's it's causing this infighting. And the innards are on the outside going like, yeah, you guys deal with it. We're over here. Just follow our rules. I I, mm, mm, I start I love Christian, but I have a big problem with the overreach that is the UN. The fact that they're not even allowed to let their people go and settle on new planets. There's nowhere else to go. They they can't go back to Ganymede. It is like years from being back up and running the way it needs to be. They can't go to Ceres. It's overpopulated not to mention under-resourced, you know, they have to steal water. They have to ration air. Like we take it for granted that we can just go turn on a tap or go outside and breathe. Things that we're actually actively destroying currently, you know? So it's just like, like they can't go to Ceres. They could probably like tolerate Mars's gravity, but like there's, there's nowhere for them to go. There's no habitats. There's nothing terraformed for them to live there. And, and they can't go to earth because we know that they will just like crumble. Like their bodies cannot survive on Earth. Not only that, it's also overpopulated on Earth. There's already people probably dying on Earth, uh, just just in the streets. So like, there's nowhere for them to go. If they stay in space, they risk being boarded by pirates, spaced, their ships being taken over, the resources being taken. So they want to go to new worlds and new planets, and they chose Illus. And I, it's the only one that they seem to be able to survive on so far. That's the only one that they found. All the other belters that have reported different things, they've had to go back up into space or they died on the planet. So Ellis seems to be the one place where they can settle and try to call home. Now, I don't know what's going to happen to Ellis. I have a very bad feeling about it, but that's neither here nor there right now. Um, I, I am under no illusion of the fact that they found lithium on that planet, that the UN and Mars aren't going like, hmm, resources. <sighs> so that being said, I get why Mercury would be mad about his crew being killed, people in his crew being killed. I totally get it. I understand it. He is not judge, jury, and executioner. He doesn't get to make the call who lives and dies. He is a psychopath who's on a killing spree. Now, the fact that he said he didn't want to kill Naomi and he had nothing against Naomi, it's because he knows it's his ass. Because Holden, Amos, Alex, Christian, they are under direct orders from the Secretary General. Why would he go after them? Right? So obviously, and he's got an issue with belters. Let's just face it. He thinks that they're less than. They're under his boot. He was talking before they even started landing that, you know, that they had boarded a ship and took the ore from the belters, gave them 300K and topped off their water and sent them on their way. He doesn't see them as equal. He probably never would. But if he had just gone to the, the leader of the belters and said, find the people that did this, they're going to pay for their crimes. 
and let the belter sort it out because it's a belter problem, I think that that would have gone a long way. Like, I know he wants revenge, but murder isn't, like, the best way to get it. It's, if anything, it makes you an even stronger target. Uh, like, now I want him to die. I don't care who does it. I want him to die. <laughs> I would love if they, like, took him away in handcuffs and he had to, like, go live out the rest of his life in prison. I don't think that's going to happen, but it would be nice if it did. But then I'm also thinking of the, the Belters watching the ship of the oppressor land on its planet that it's claimed as its own it's called its home and and then of, of course they don't want it there i say blow it out of the sky too i don't trust those people and then there's the argument about the scientist i'm like if i'm a belter i don't trust scientists either look at eros look at ganymede there's no reason for them to trust that that ship coming down is going to help them whatsoever all they're going to do is take their lithium and boot them off the planet because there's proto molecule where do they go space to die to series to die there's nowhere for them to go so i don't blame them for protecting their home and again i i don't like murtry because of how erratic he is and and, and <laughs> he's definitely got a psychopathic tendency and amos even calls him on it and says you like death you like killing it's fun for him. Um, I'm interested to see what happens now that Holden's punched him in the face and booted him to the ground. Uh, Holden's got to go after Amos. So hopefully, <laughs> I mean, Amos might be busy. You know, he's, he's strapped down to a bed. So he might, he might get conjugal visits. I don't know. <laughs> but I, I have no doubt that Amos could, you know, hold his own. And he did that specifically for, you know, Naomi to help her. Now, we also saw the last shot was the Rasanate shooting back up into space. So hopefully this helps Naomi. Like, it helps her heart. Um, <laughs> it helps her heart to lose her love. I, I don't think, like, that her and Holden aren't going to be together again. But definitely uh, a, a lot of things that have to do with Naomi have to do with the heart. Um, whether it is her inability to live on Illis or her fight for Holden. And now that we know that like Philip is still around, still a thing, Marco is out there. I don't know if Marco still has him or not, but like, I'd like to find out what happened to Philip. Hopefully he's not like another Diogo. Oh, that would be horrible. That would be so horrible. Oh, I know when Marco said he did the best he could, I don't know what that means. And... I'm, I'm hoping that he's not radicalized because it seems like that would be very easy for Marco to do to his own child. Or maybe, or maybe <laughs> Philip did the complete opposite and was just like, yeah, you're crazy. Nope, not listening to you. Uh, who knows? You guys do. I don't. I don't even know if Philip's even in the rest of the show. It would be nice if, if we got Philip. I would love to see Naomi reunited with Philip and have it be a loving one. Every time I think like the, like when people are reunited on the show, like Bobby and Christian, I'm like, yay. And they get into a fight. I'm like, shit. <laughs> like, like it's not ever like happy. <laughs> it never goes the way I think it's going to. Speaking of Christian and Bobby, Bobby, oh, she's such a pure heart and she's so good intention and she's such a patriot to Mars. Like she won't leave Mars. And I like, I, I'm, I'm proud of her for that because that's like, totally been who she has been from the very beginning is just a proud Martian. And I think that that's fantastic. She always did what she thought was right. And she always went to face the music afterwards. She never tried to say she was a victim of circumstance. And I think that that's amazing. And in this instance, she's definitely a victim of circumstance. The, the circumstances are, is that people are stealing tech to sell to belters to help them with their tech. So then they can go to new worlds. I think it's a great deal. Um, it it definitely lessens the strength that the UN has, um, and it gives Mars an ally. It gives the Belters an ally. Um, I don't know if it's the Belt or if it's the OPA. I mean, I know it's the OPA working with Mars in this instance, but I don't. I don't know if we. I don't know if the OPA could be what encapsulates the Belt government wise. I don't know. But that that new friendship. I think Christian had even said like. I hope the belt and Mars never share a toothbrush or something like that. Or like, help us if Mars and, and the belt share a toothbrush. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, girl. 
I think the issue with now with her and Nancy is that Nancy is going to be right the way Marco is right. Um, which is like there's holes. There's lots of holes, <laughs> like especially in her way of thinking that like you can't just go willy nilly into new worlds, right? But at the same time, a lot of people don't have the choice. So when you have that kind of presented to you, you have to do the best with it what you can, and it's not make people wait outside the ring. Um, you definitely need to find a plan to at least let those people go to planets and report back to you what they find. You know, like again, I don't want the belters to be test subjects once again, but it is their choice to land on the planet. There, it's not happening to them because the UN and Mars want to do experiments, right? It's their choice to be on the planet. That's kind of like what Naomi said. She just wanted it to be her choice. So uh, Christian's got to find this in between be her, between her and Nancy because I think Nancy could rile people up the same way Marco does. Now with Bobby having to take the job, I don't know. I feel like I feel like she could send her girl Christian a little message and just be like, "Hey, girl, <laughs> not that like we're in the best place, but like can you help a girl out." Um, I, I don't, or like, you know, like take the job. I don't know what would happen to her family on Mars. That's the other thing. And, and, you know, she's thinking of that. So I don't know where Bobby goes from here. I feel like she just like wants an in so then she can destroy something or join it. I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we get a radicalized Bobby. I don't think so. She's such a straight shooter. I, I, I just find that hard to believe. It's not impossible. Just merely improbable, I think. And then there's Drummer and Ashford, which I don't know if they're going to be at odds because of the decision that Drummer made. Um, I think she made the right play because honestly, fighting in fighting with the Belters is not a good idea. And that's what the inners want to have happen. They want them fighting over things. So then they're busy with that, that they don't notice, you know, the UN and Mars doing this over here. If they all stay united, even if they don't like it, you know, sit, like letting one guy live so a civil war doesn't happen it it seems like a good plan it really does and i'm proud of her for seeing that i mean that was a a, a very smart decision and i know ashford doesn't like it and ashford knows that like marco can talk his way in and out of situations and if if somebody who's very gullible meets marco then you know let let's say marco and nancy go shake hands like it it could be dangerous you know, it's funny I brought up Dresden because I haven't thought of Cotillard in a while. And Fred Johnson's sample. What the hell is going on with that? And the protomolecule that's on the Rasonate. Like, I didn't forget about any of this, but like, I'm trying to find its relevance <laughs> in every episode. I'm like, how can I link it to that? How can I link it to that? And I, I don't know if they're like, now that the Rasonate isn't on Illus, it's up in space. I don't know if that changes anything for Holden. Like, I don't know if, like, the antennas aren't up anymore because he's not near the protomolecule. I don't know if they even know the protomolecule is on the Rasinate. I, I, I mean, I know they don't. I don't know if they knew it was on the Rasinate and they took it off. I don't know if they were like, what's that? Burn it off. Like, I don't know if that happened and they didn't show it because at some point they renamed the ship and they didn't show that either. I mean, they renamed it. You know what I mean. <laughs> now I'm rambling. <laughs> I guess before I spin out of control, I should get into the episode. So let's get into it. <laughs> oh, and boss update. He's finished. He's done. He walked in the lunchroom yesterday. He had a sad look in his eyes and he said, Ange, I watched it all. I could cry. I could cry for him. He looked so sad and I was like, oh God, was it a sad ending? He's like, no, there's just no more to watch. He's so upset because there's no more to watch. I'm not in any rush to get through it either because I know like that feeling that 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 like fear that I'm just all of a sudden going to be like, oh, why is there no more? It's going to be OK. I hope. Careful. Is that it's snow? Stuff. You said that it won't even work. Oh, is this before? I myself. Leave it. We have to remove the charge. The drive will set it off. Then it does. At least block <gasps> now before they land. Give them a chance to pull up. This isn't what we plan. I did not come mm. here to kill people. The plan is why I See? say this. Whatever happened, therefore. Oh. 
I mean, oh! While I agree, I wouldn't want them landing on the planet anyway. Oh yeah, I forgot she was in the Rossi. Welcome to the Rossinante. Mm. <laughs> You're safe here. Yeah, I used to go there when I was in training. They had this grilled corn with garlic butter, you know? I do not. Yeah, garlic butter. <laughs> and they had these sides, these green sides. I don't know what they were, but they kind of look Wait like outside until you relieve. Don't watch this one. <laughs> Mason seems nice. That guy talks a lot. <laughs> oh, he's nice. You know, in a different context, this could be kind of fun. I agree. Come on. Trade places with me and then we'll talk about it. Don't be an asshole. Oh. Save your life out there. I volunteer. In here! Shit. Yeah, no more fun for you, Way. No one outside their quarters unless Chief Murtry says so. I don't give a fuck what Murtry said. Where's my crewman? Mm -hmm. Module 7. <laughs> Unlock him. Not gonna happen. Put the gun down. Don't kill her. She just hasn't figured out her boss is a dick. You stay out of it. Hey, <laughs> give me the key and walk away. Fuck that. Captain Holden, you left before we could finish our talk. Cut him loose. Do it now. We don't have time for your vendetta. You people act like I'm the bad guy here. You I are. I came on a peaceful mission. These squatters drew first blood. And you used it to justify murder. I acted yep. against terrorists who killed innocent people and were planning further acts of violence. But I'm the bad guy. Maybe I'll just go back. Oh, kind of the face. justifications. I'll make sure. He does have that kind of face, though. <laughs> there trial. you go. There you go. Both light shuttles in working order. Take the second G1. Disable the safeties, rig it up for remote piloting, and put it on a proximity trigger. You want me to make oh, it he's such a, a good guy. I want you to make it into an option. To kill all those innocent women and children. Quite the hero. In that time, immigration between zones... Use simpler diction. Just say, people moving instead. <laughs> so against her nature. Food allotment will be a key campaign issue. James Holden and a bunch of Beltairs are fucking up our first exploration of an alien world. Girl. No matter where the debate leads, we need you to come off as more approachable. <laughs> Nurturing. <laughs> the caring family matriarch attested to get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's an election debate. They just want you to play the game. She never wanted to do any of that. Why? Yeah, is she gonna be a problem? For who? Where is my family? <laughs> and Felsia, was my daughter with her? I'm sorry, I haven't seen no. her. No. Is she on the ship? But the next thing could be a lot worse, and there will be a next thing. You have no way of knowing that. He actually does. We need to get everyone off the planet right now. Was yeah, this Aussie's plan all along? No. Probably not. It was mine. Don't make this a fight. I don't know if you're using Murtry or he's using you. But if mm. we leave, they'll never let us come back. You go if you want to. It's their choice. That's the, the only thing that I agree with, is that it should be a choice. Up. We started putting off heat like a super volcano. On a planet with no volcanoes. Super? Oh, I was like excited for a second there. I love volcanoes. I just studied geology. I mean, I was expecting a lot, but this is a lot, a lot. Right? <laughs> Does it seem strange to you that these things have lasted millions, maybe billions of years, and we can break them with torpedoes? Maybe they wore out and got brittle. I had a, uh, hmm. a refrigerator in college I left off over holiday, and when I turned it back on, it caught fire. Oh. Hopefully that's not what's happening. A short circuit or something. That That's out. no good. Squatter camp hygiene makes for all sorts of nasty infections. Just itches. Dr. Okoye. Oh, uh, that's not good. What was that about? I want to hear about this alien technology. Every detail. I hate him with the fire of a thousand suns. 
How you feeling, girl? Nagata here. And this is Faya Sarkis on the Edward Israel. Your boss, Murtry, was shooting at me not long ago. He's not my boss. And he's kind of an ass. <laughs> not like Faya's. I want to talk to my wife. Where is she? Oh, hey, Jacob. Uh, yeah, she's here. And she is all right. I didn't ask if she was all right. I said I need to talk to her. Ooh, calm down. Hey, uh, cool your jets there, friend. I'll transfer you over. Tell me she's somewhere safe. That she's not with you. What? Who? Felsia. Our daughter. Is Tell me you know where she is. Maybe she here when the shooting started. I'm sure she I is. have been every place. She's not here. Look around. Matri. Uh, he said. What? What did he say? Uh, nothing specific. Would Murtry actually have her? It's true then. What they're saying about you and Coop. You were part of that. Yeah, they should pay for their crimes. Someone had to be stung. And I wasn't. Ooh. I wasn't stung Easy enough. There. Because I didn't want to bring the killing to this planet. Like Coop and it'll be a dog. Stop. Uh oh. Uh oh. You can't let them make us leave. Whose blood was that floating around? Was that hers? You have to stay! Whose blood is that? All these terrible things you've done, they didn't save us. She tried. All they did was destroy the only thing we had left. Whose blood is that? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's what Alex was talking about, like that that doesn't do well in zero G. Was she trying to make it worse? Watching your ass is always a good idea. Oh, you're hitting on me? Not right now. <laughs> Disappointing. <laughs> I like them. <laughs> that little back and forth. Saucy. Uh oh. Oh, my Erta sweetheart. What the fuck do you want? Just leave it. Oh. They don't have to keep doing it, though. They can stop with the fighting. I want to talk to you. This isn't a great time. I don't care. Okay. You seem angry. <laughs> At me? The bugs that showed up exactly when you did. The lightning and the way you happened to be exactly where the lightning started. Were the bugs because of the Rossi? You are connected to this and you are withholding information. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, no. Were those gunshots? Yes. <laughs> Let them go right now! Fuck these assholes! Just shoot them! Oh my god, let them go! Don't make me ask again. Oh god. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Covering fire! Fall back! Fall back! Ooh, stop fighting! Everything's going sideways. You look like you're having a good time. <laughs> I do enjoy the clarity of these moments. Now you see what I've been working with. Professional victims and martyrs. And no word about the bombs. Look at you. You're a victim now, up. aren't you? Let's go their position. They're dug in tight, but we can root them out. I feel like this is exactly what you hoped would happen. I'd love to have come to a peaceful resolution. But then they took two RCE employees hostage, and keeping them alive is my job. Yeah, sure, that's why he's rigging the other ship. I would ask if you have any objection, but I honestly don't give a fuck now. That's kind of bold. <laughs> Watch as I don't like Murtry. He's a really good bad guy. He's really good at making me not like him. Gulf of Denmark. Interesting. Our first question comes from the North American trade zone. Oh, I'm so worried for her. <laughs> She's so abrasive. 
I want to ask the candidates how they would protect us from a second Eros incident. That's a very good question. The existence of alien life gives us unimaginable opportunities. And I think the real danger of Eros is that we only react to it from fear. What we need now is leadership that can embrace the possibilities while managing the risks. The very Dresden response. You ask how I would protect Earth from another Eros incident? That's a good question. And here is my answer. The same way I did last time. That's not really an answer, but it's bold. <laughs> I believe healthcare infrastructure is underfunded when it comes to dealing with the undocumented population. Mercury's waiting until he has a plan. Oh, I wanted more of the debate. Would you actually let him do that? At this point, I'm not sure he's wrong. What are they thinking, taking hostages like that? Metri has no right making them leave, and neither do you. If they die mm -hmm. here, it's on me. It's their choice. And it's on the inners for fighting over Ganymede. There we go. I have a Sorala for sending us, and some aliens for creating the protomolecule and shooting it at Earth. <laughs> and it's on the Meltis, too. <laughs> for coming here. It's their choice. For taking hostages now. Don't decide for them. Tell them the truth and let them decide for themselves. You know, I used to be the one saying things like that. <laughs> so, go be you. I Liz, love that yeah. so much. Hey, I don't know if you're hungry or nothing. Oh, he's gonna find her dead, isn't he? Yeah, all right. I'm not trying to intrude upon you or nothing. I just thought you. Oh, might I'm sure enjoy he's gonna it. find something bad. Nail me! She obviously did it on purpose. Was she trying to find an easy way out? Please, you gotta tell me what to do. But do not make me tell your daughter I had to let you die. Fucking tell me what to do. Oof. All right, you're still bleeding inside. How do I stop that? Oh, can you imagine trying to tell somebody how to do your own damn surgery? Ooh. I can't even die tonight. Where is her daughter? I thought she was on the Rossi, but maybe Murtry has her. Nice working on the same side for once. Fuck that. I'm not gassing anybody on Murtry's words. I just don't want to see you get shot over this. No, oh, he cares about you. <laughs> it might not be the Holden Naomi love, but I'm unarmed. I still dig oh, it. Oh shit! What's he doing? Me and him. <laughs> and I've been on the waiting list for vocational training and job placement for 30 years. I want to ask the candidates. What can be done to offer more opportunity to those on basic assistance? It has been well documented at this point that my opponent exploited political connections to jump the line and take the spot that would have gone to someone with fewer friends in high places. Okay, let's see the response. It's a little strange to have a member of the political aristocracy lecture me about connections. Tonight, it's the first time she's ever interviewed for a job. My opponent has asked what happened to the person whose place I took. George, would you stand up, please? George Cantor was my first alternate. When I got my appointment at the regional government, I hired George to work with my policy research team. That's nice. He now runs it. Because that's the lie, isn't it? Six thousand people fight for one slot and we say anyone can make it any one of those six thousand certainly not everyone we all know the system's broken we aren't afraid to take risks and with 1300 new solar systems we can provide that opportunity for everyone not just the colonists workers and farmers and engineers what we deserve is a government that gives us a chance. Security alert. Ma'am, we need to come with us right away. 
further notice. Please what the fuck is wrong with you? Can you not see where I am? We have a security situation. Shit. Yeah, they don't have to escort her like that either. <laughs> but, uh, Nancy be making some points. Mm hmm. Three hours ago, this ship went off its course. It's on a collision course with Sentinel 19. The asteroid spotter? You brushed me off the surface of the planet, so obviously you're treating this like an attack. So why haven't we killed the ship already? This is the sign up. We are experiencing a minor failure in our computer system. We have children on board. This message was sent 10 minutes after it went off course. We haven't been able to raise them since. How long before we have to make a decision? If we kill it now, there's a 3% chance the debris field will compromise our strategic defenses. The longer we wait, the more that goes up. Or maybe we blow oh up a my. ship full of innocent civilians who just called for help. Yeah. Ma'am, we Ma cannot we afford to- Ma'am, we just got a flash from signal intelligence. The drive signature on record also matches a colony ship called the Sojourner. The one the Belter oh. said was lost as scrap? Kill it. Destroy oh. the ship immediately. Yes, ma'am. God. Does that break a treaty at all? Oh, Christian, I hope that was the right call. It was bad timing. It could have happened to anyone. Was it bad timing? It's funny. I was just talking with Holden about letting people make their own choices. Even if you don't agree with them. <laughs> I've been where you are right now. I don't think that you have. Mm. I was young and in love with a boy who had a crazy plan. I'd hack reactor control programs. Then we could turn off the drive, leave them on the drift, rescue them for a price later. At least that was the story he told me. The first one we tried was the Augustine Gamara. Because the man I loved, the father of my child, used my code to overload the reactor. We killed 516 people. And he meant to do it again. You were tricked. I chose what I did. I chose not to see what kind of man my lover was until it was too late. Mm. And when I told him I'd never help him again, it was the last time he let me see my little boy. I almost walked out an airlock. Being dead seemed better. I have a family now. Certainly not one I would have expected them and they love me there is a path from where you are to where I am all we did was buy you a little time you decide what you want to do with it god I love Naomi I know no one wants to back down. I know why all of you came to this place and everyone feels like they have a reason to fight for it. You mean our legally binding charter from a legitimate government? Your government Who does cares? not want every planet in disguise. But that's not that's why right. I'm here. <laughs> as soon as the gate opened, I started being contacted by a man I knew who died on Eros. The protomolecule was somehow projecting him into my brain. He sounds nuts. The protomolecule was made to build the ring gates and report back when it was finished. It wants to reach its creators, but the things that it was supposed to report to are gone. I had a vision when I was inside the ring station. Oh, the ghost didn't tell you, but the vision did. I can see why you didn't tell anyone. He sounds nuts. Because anyone can claim to have prophetic visions, but that doesn't mean... Cap's been right about everything so far. That thing in his head is giving him answers. Or he's just a crazy person with a few lucky guesses. <laughs> Fair. Maybe you did make it worse, but this place is our only hope. We're not giving it up. You're nothing but teeth. You came here to steal everything we built. Hey, 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 hey! hey. 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 
Yeah, that wasn't going to go over well. Anyway, he sounds like a lunatic. <sighs> oh, Lucia. But I thought he got it from his own head. I was like, why is Alex bleeding? Uh oh. Uh oh. It's getting whiter, that means it's getting hotter, yes? Oh, no! Oh, damn it! The last episode was the only one that didn't end on a cliffhanger, and then... Huh! <gasps> The show gets me riled up. Okay. Okay. Is it fair to say that every single person in this episode that was arguing, whether it was Murtry, whether it was Belters, whether it was Holden, whether it was the scientist, whether it was Christian, whether it was Nancy Gao, they all had a valid fucking point? I fucking hate that. Like, I, I want to be firmly on, like, one side. I'm with Christian and I'm with the belt. Those are two very far things that like do not go together but like <sighs> murtry's a murder and the fact that he wants to rig the other ship to possibly kill the other belters psychopath now i really do believe that it's a choice you know if if they want to stay let them stay there's no reason why he needs to be the last person on that planet um, and, and let them take the risk and let them pay the price. Now, the beginning, seeing like kind of how that went down and how, you know, it was to blow the platform and they were early. So they did know that they were even coming. So they were preparing to make it impossible for them to land instead of killing them. Um, which I, I didn't really know the whole story about that, but that makes more sense to destroy the platform rather than shoot the ship down. If, if she had just let them land, then everybody would have died and we wouldn't have this problem at all, <laughs> which is incredibly harsh, I know. Um, but uh, I, I don't blame them for not trusting these people and not wanting to be told what to do yet again. You know, again, like the UN doesn't run the universe. The, the UN doesn't run every planet in the system. The UN doesn't have control. Even if they want to say that they have a charter, it doesn't matter. In in the long run, like they can't enforce that. If they want to actually tax people at the ring gate and then siphon off whatever they want out of the materials or whatever it is, I guess that's a way to go about it because then you're still controlling the system in which you live. Um, but uh if if they're they're trying to get really trying to control people in other systems, I mean, what if there were actual aliens that were inhabiting this place? Like, like what would they do with the aliens? I mean, they have the proto molecule. It's extra extrasolar. So, I mean, <laughs> I get the feeling the proto molecule is going to boot them off of the planet. And I don't like really talking about like what about isms and all that stuff. I like to just like deal with like what we have in front of us. And and I I'm still firmly on the side of the belters, but I I do see how they were being a little vile themselves, not necessarily Lucia, but uh, the, the rest of them like Coop and all that. Like, yeah, and they could have been rounded up. They could have stood a trial and been shipped to series and they could pay for their crimes there. Um, again, I don't really like about there being a government reach into another system, but uh, what's happening now is actually what I would expect to have happened if two different factions of two different governments landed on a planet and they're duking it out to see who wins. Um, I, I, I would imagine this is what would happen. And then of course, Holden's doing what Holden does, which is <laughs> marching dick first and, and, and just fucks everything. <sighs> Speaking of fucks everything, um, how's Amos and Way doing? I, I, okay. Again, I, I dig Amos, um, as a character. I, I don't, I, I don't want anything <laughs> I don't want a guy like that. Um, but him and Wei are like really great together. Like they get each other. Even she says that like he's really fucking weird. 
And like, I agree, sometimes he is really fucking weird, but that's like the weirdness that I appreciate about him. <laughs> and they are saucy. And I like that they're saucy with each other. It's 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 like you get the sappy love stuff from Holden and Naomi, and I will lap that stuff up. That is just like the best. I absolutely love their love. Um, but uh, I, I I like the heat that's coming from Amos and Way. <laughs> and I really think like it's getting to the point where she's going to have to decide if she's going to do what Murtry says 100 percent or if she is going to side with Amos because she even says she's like oh it's nice to be fighting on both sides and he's like fuck that like I'm gonna do what Murtry says like he's he's not a lapdog for Murtry and he never will and 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 he knows right from wrong and who to follow and who not and he definitely knows Murtry is not the guy to be following now the the belters that have the two guards uh I don't I think that's a move of desperation I don't think it's a smart move by any means um the leader though of the belters I I like her and the fact that she keeps saying we're not leaving, like, like we're going to have to face the music if that's what happens here. And now with there being an explosion on the planet, like, uh, I, I don't know what that means. Like they said that there was no volcanoes, but that these spots were acting like volcanoes. I, I, I dabbled in geology. I was going to study volcanoes, actually, when I was in college. Um, definitely changed my major after one semester. <laughs> <laughs> but um hot spots no good it's my professional opinion <laughs> i think i i i i i took a couple geology classes at michigan state and i was like i feel like uh the only thing you can do with this is drill for oil that's not really my thing or teach it which i uh, my tolerance for children is very low Speaking of children, though, where is Lucia and Jacob's daughter? I thought maybe she would be on the Rasenate, and that's why he couldn't find her. Maybe Murtry has her. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe she snuck off onto another ship when they went back up to the, the science station because she said she wanted to study engineering or something. Something science related. So she could be floating up on, on the, uh, the, the Edward Israel, for all we know. Well, for all I know. You guys know. You know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here just throwing guesses and hoping it sticks. But I will say the same thing with like Nancy Gao and with Marco is that they're saying the right things to like, like really get like people supporting them and, and getting people behind them. And I think that Nancy kind of bringing those people out and saying like, oh, these are the people that, you know, uh, I, I, I beat or that that would have been alternates. Um, look at, look at them thriving now. Look what I did for them. I feel like that was also planned. I feel like that was, uh, I don't know. Can we, can we get proof on that? I, I would, I would love to believe that that was true and that she had the best of intentions when she did that. Like, oh, I'm screwing somebody over, but I'm going to help them. Like, I don't know. I don't know if that was her intention at all with that, but it remains to be seen. I don't trust anybody until I've been through an Eros with them or I've, I've been through a Ganymede with them. Like there's there's not a lot of trust with new people when they 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 come online. Uh definitely not Marco. Uh I, I had our team trusting Ashford at first and now I'm 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 fully in. You know, there's there's not like Fred Johnson, I was kind of da, 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 and you know, I was like, okay, I like Fred. Still Anderson does. Hmm. Hmm. Um, haven't seen him in a while. Don't know what he's up to. And, you know, even Bobby, like, like, it's not even that I didn't trust Bobby. She was just so, like, monotone and plain when we first met her that I was just like, there's nothing likable. And now, like, dear God, I'd, 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 I I, wish nothing but the best for her. I want everything good for Bobby, which we didn't get anything with Bobby. Like, the one person I'm, like, really worried about, I'm not getting anything from. <laughs> I just want Bobby to be okay. I don't want Bobby to have to be a criminal and break the law. But I think now with the Sojourner being a, a scrap ship that Christian destroyed, that there were probably innocent civilians on, um, and the the scrap or like the the tech from Mars, I feel like we're gonna get a connection there and we're we're gonna have like a little bit of a um I don't know, like a <laughs> I was gonna say a brain trust, but like maybe like a, a little phone call, a little phone call. 
it might clear the air. I don't know if that'll happen. I don't know if Bobby would ever think about going to Christian for help. And I don't know if Christian would ever think about going to Bobby for help. Uh, I don't know if they know that they could even intersect. I don't even know if they could intersect. I don't know. Again, hoping it sticks. <laughs> and Christian making the call to, to shoot down the ship. You know, she was trying to make the best decision she could with the information she had. I don't know. It could have been a fake distress call. It could have been a real distress call. I definitely think that the uh, Sojourner, you know, even being scrapped in the first place, like what, what Nancy Gao kind of brings up is that it, it shouldn't have happened in the first place. And if people were allowed to colonize on the other systems, then it probably wouldn't have. I think that that's a fair argument. I also think, um, I also don't trust Nancy Gao. Not that I think that she had anything to do with it, but interesting that it happened during the debate. It's not lost on me the timing of that. I know I know Arjun said it was bad timing, but hmm. And now as for Naomi and her story about Marco and and Philip, that caught me in the feels. Any any time any time we get Naomi, just telling a story from her heart and and what she did with Marco and. The people that died and then him kind of, you know, saying about her waking up and screaming and crying in the middle of the night. Like, I don't I don't know how you live with that. And I know like her leaving him and in taking Philip was kind of the thing that said she wanted to like just, you know, throw herself out of an airlock. But if I were responsible for 516 people dying, I don't know how I would sleep at night. And I do love that she kept talking about having a choice and giving people a choice. And although I think Lucia is taking the coward's way out by trying to kill herself, um, I, I think giving her the choice to do that, let her face her own God, let her, you know, face her own music and, and then, you know, uh, send her body back. I don't know. I, I kind of lost a lot of respect for Lucia in that moment, especially because like she doesn't know where her daughter is. So it's not even on her her mind to like try to find her daughter or stop what happened. You know, she could go back to the planet. She could walk in front of Mercury and say, you got me. He could probably execute her. He probably would. But hopefully that would mean that her family would be safe. And maybe if he does have her daughter, let her daughter go. Again, we don't know where that little shit is. I don't think the Edward Israel, but that's just me. Now I, I I was like firmly like thinking she was on the Rasanate, and now I'm like, mm, she wanted to be a scientist. She wanted to study that. Like I could see her just being like, I'm going up there. I don't know when she actually went missing and when uh, Fayez went back up there. By the way, I really like Fayez too. I really, really, really like Fayez. Okay, guys, if you want to watch the full length reaction to this episode, it will be available on my Patreon as well as up to two episodes early. If that's the thing you want to do, great. If not, like, subscribe, set your notifications so when I post another video, you will be notified. I am watching several other shows right now, including uh, House of the Dragon, Fox Machina, Wednesday. I might be adding a new one. It's, that's what I need is 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 more on my plate. <laughs> but I'm also going to try to launch into some movies and uh, get that up before the end of the year. Uh, full length reactions for movies are also on my Patreon. If again, if that's something that you would like to watch, it's there for you. Other than that, this one's uh, from where I was at the start of the episode going on my rant and where I am now. I feel very conflicted about where I started and where I've ended, but I still am firmly team Belter. I still firmly believe that you need to give everybody an opportunity to make their own choices and live their own lives. And, and, and Mertry just sick. He's sick in the head. He's not right. He's not even a dick, a prick, an asshole, a jerk. He cray. <laughs> he, he he he's he what is that they, they they love the pink mist he likes the pink mist it makes him happy <laughs> okay guys i'll see